How's it going YouTube? It's Smiggles back again. Now, today we've just after having the news drop that Battlefield 5 is going to be coming out in October this year and it is looking epic. We have a trip back. We are going into uh, World War 1 this time around, which is just like I can't believe they actually went back. And obviously there's an awful lot of uh, stuff at the minute going on about Call of Duty and not a lot of people actually liking what they've seen from their reveal. Um, so yeah, it's going to be, I'm actually very happy that uh, we're going back into this type of world of uh, World War One because the the whole lot needed a change up, um, you know, like you can't, you couldn't have, uh, you know, we couldn't continue with modern warfare and just continuing with that whole, you know, line. Uh, we needed to desperately change where we were going and what we were doing and everything like that. So it is great to kind of see that we're taking a step back and we're going to look at World War One because World War One. Has an awful lot of potential there. Like people only look at very limited things about it. Like we've had years of World War Two, and you know, we just, you know, we we've seen enough of it over the years. Like uh, all the, like I think PlayStation One, Two, uh, the original Xbox, like uh, fucking all those consoles had tons and tons of. Um, it, it tons of World War Two games, Pacific games, you know, like there was, there was stuff everywhere there that we've seen. Uh, so it's, it's good to go into World War One now, and I can't wait to see what they do. The trailer looks awesome. You can go online there. I'll leave a link in the description to to it uh, if I remember. But um, yeah, uh, like it's looking set to be a pretty beast of a game, and it's. It's also it's 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 something that's like you're gonna have so many weapons, all bolt action rifles, revolvers, early machine guns, tanks, biplanes, like all this technology that it would be really fun to get your hands on and try and uh, you know utilize this when we're so used to using like you know M4s and like even even M1 Grands and Thompson machine guns and all this type of stuff we were used to in World War Two games. Now we're gonna be going back and experience a whole new type of you know weapon layouts and attachments and well they won't really probably have a huge attachment section in it it's probably going to be um more so just you know your basic weapons that you're going to be seeing uh and you know you'll have the whole trench warfare thing and like early uses of uses of armored vehicles and stuff like that and it'll be interesting to see what the multiplayer ends up like uh, in terms of like the size of maps and stuff like that uh i'd say they may cut it down they may make it uh you know make it smaller than what we were used to seeing uh, in terms of player base or just map sizes and that it, it depends like what, what you know they they personally what what the team think is best and you know it's it's going to be really interesting to see this uh that like in in a well closer to october when we see an awful lot more footage being brought forward because there was such a negative reaction over call of duty's uh, infinity warfare or whatever it was called i think that was what it was called or whatever it was or uh oh, i can't remember what it was called now it was that. <laughs> But yeah, there was a very bad reaction to that, and um, I think I think it was more so that they were given the, you had to buy the super elite edition to get the old remaster of COD Four or whatever it was, whichever one I think it was COD Four, wasn't it? But anyway, yeah, it like the the graphics on it are looking pretty good. The the actual like obviously what what we see is just like carnage in the skies and on the ground and all sorts and the, i'd say the campaign hopefully the campaign will be a bit better because uh we had it in the oh, battlefield hardline the actual campaign and that was just pants 
It was <laughs> it might as well have not existed. Everything was stereotypes and they're just like, oh, everything was really cliche and everything like that. So hopefully they're not going to do that again. Hopefully it's going to be an awful lot uh, kind of grounded. And I suppose when you're doing a game like that, you do have the history there of what battles took place and... Uh, you know what you know what, what happened well, you have an actual history book there to kind of follow up the history of World, War, of World War One and all the weapon models and everything like that and tanks and vehicles and all that and it's it's looking it's looking really good I have to say um, I just hope that when it does launch uh, I just hope we're not going to be given the old classic battlefield treatment of a game that's you know broken as all hell for the first you know, a couple of weeks or whatever, or nearly months with some some of the titles, and hoping for net code issues to be solved and all this type of crack. Uh, I just, I just want it. I want it to come out smooth and, you know, <laughs> be, be decent from the from the off. With very, you know, and then as well, there's an awful lot of DLC that they could bring out with maps and stuff like that as well, because obviously World War One was fought and an awful lot of areas so you have an awful lot there to play around with and use so hopefully that gets used to its maximum potential as well and yeah it's just going to be interesting to take a step back uh, because it's, it's kind of long overdue because we've had so much uh, you know like a modern warfare it, it's just it's it's oversaturated now at this point modern shooters that you know, you, you just, it, it, it's, it's like, you know, they're a dime a dozen and you're not actually getting anything new and unique out of any of it. You know, it's all the same crap being delivered again and again and again and people get tired of that and it's good to change it up. And I know, I say kudos to the boys for coming out. Like, an awful lot of stuff was World War One, World War Two, even that the little eight second teaser we got yesterday that was like people were saying oh it's it's a that's a the shadow is a zeppelin and like this that and the other like it was um you know all the uniform on the on the soldier was you know world war one and some people said no it's world war two it was they had this uniform and that and well no battlefield one is looking set already to, to like it i don't know anyone who could look at the two looking at call of duty and then looking at a battlefield and think that you know think that when they seen the trailer of Call of Duty that it was bringing anything new and exciting and interesting to the table it was like pfft, no like it everything in that trailer for me anyway was like we've seen all this crap before like what's what's new what's what's you know what's happening here like this is this is the same crap we've had for god knows how long and it's it's just not it's not anything original that's that's been brought forward. So I am happy that it's been done, and I'm happy to see the the kind of for the initial kind of thing we've we've been given. And I can't wait till it drops, and we all get our hands on it later on in the year. And uh, like because obviously it's a bit of. I just jumped in here in a match in Battlefield Four, and I've I've very rarely now really jump in and play Battlefield. Uh, most of the time is because you end up here, you end up in Metro or Locker, or you you always end up on maps like this on console now because it's where everyone wants to play, and the game has become a little bit too fucking you know just saturated now at this stage. Like people, people are done with it. People want the next instalment. Uh, they don't. They don't want to. Uh, they don't want to be playing this as much anymore. Like there's, there's an awful lot more that's come out. So, um, you know, it's it's time to move on, and it's time for us to uh, embrace a, a nice, healthy change of a an era that hasn't really had a huge amount of shooters uh, being made in, in recent years, like big, big companies that would, would throw out a World War One shooter. It's just not seen. Um, so, yeah, 
I am looking forward to it. Uh, everything, I think, visuals and everything. Look, I, some of the song choices in the video, I wouldn't have agreed with. But there you go. That's just that's just music. That's, <laughs> that, that can be that shit can be turned off pretty easily. But anyway, I have been Smiggles. I hope you enjoyed watching me like be pretty desperate here in this round because of this round of <laughs> Battlefield. Uh, as as what happens when you move out of a out of a game for a long time and you only go back. It was only the past couple of nights I tried to get back in and play a bit again. I don't even know what am I at. I'm probably way down the leaderboard. Yeah, 12 to 17. <laughs> oh, God. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll leave a link below in the description of the trailer so you can go check it out for yourselves and I'll catch you guys in another video. Thanks. Good luck.